All right, I think we are doing this now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my uh, YouTube live stream. It's been uh, the, the one I did earlier this week was uh, a little rocky, a little shaky, but I'm just figuring this stuff out. So I appreciate people showing up, people saying hi, and coming in and watching. Um, what I wanted to do today is draw some spaceships, maybe draw one really detailed spaceship, or maybe draw a bunch of um, simpler spaceships. You can see here some examples of different spaceships I've done before. All of this is to kind of celebrate um, uh, the launch of my kick, uh, spaceship Kickstarter book, which is we're at almost 700 backers. Um, let's go over here. You can see we're almost at 700 backers, $35,000, and that is just phenomenal to me. Um, it's Kepler's Intergalactic Guide to Spaceships. There's Kepler himself. Uh, good afternoon, Eric. Hey, Pizza Sauce. Hey, 29th. MF, howdy. Glad you could make it. Um, so, so yeah, so this is, this is the book. Here's a, a few spreads. So what this book is, it's part comic, it's part art book, but it's all spaceships. And uh, you could kind of see what things are going to look like there. You got different rewards and stuff. So go check it out. Uh, the link is pinned in the chat. But let's um, let's get down to doing some doing some drawing if you guys want to. Um, where's my pen? There it is. Also off screen, I've got Allison. Um, there she is. <laughs> So sometimes when I'm focused on drawing, she reads the, the questions. CP, hey, how you doing? Thanks for showing up. She reads the questions and, uh, and, um, and then we talk. So let's switch to, we're going to start on the Cintiq. And we're going to do some digital drawing first uh, before, we go into, um, before we go into some traditional drawing. Uh, Hunter says, Jake, I bought your crispy original art in your art sale. I framed it and love it so much. When, which one was crispy? Mm. It was the one Skull Chaser flame broiled uh, scorpion. Oh, the big creepy thing. It was a scorpion. I did that for you. <laughs> so we live in Arizona, which means we deal with scorpions. And, uh, a and, lot. Yeah. Like, we'll get them in the house how many times a year? Uh, still audio is only coming in from the left. We have no idea why. I think it's because of my microphone, maybe. Because it's on your right side of it. Yeah. Um, we get scorpions in the house only during the summer. And entirely too often is how often. Calvin got, our son got stung by one. Yeah. A couple weeks ago. Yeah, it's it's frustrating, but, well, that's that's the price we pay for living in paradise, in right? In a place where it's <laughs> so hot that we can't go outside. Right. Hello. Hey, Hello from Germany. I have a friend in here from Germany. So when you're drawing uh, a spaceship, I always like using the box method. Okay. So if you can draw a, a 3D box, then you can draw pretty much anything because it's the basis of every. Um, it's the basis of every every object that you're going to draw. Everything fits in a box, and and if you want to do realistic volume, like volumetric drawing, it helps to just draw the boxes first because those are those are much easier to draw than like details. So we've got a little box on the side. This is going to be an engine. Then we're going to have like a really thin box like I this. I better be able to draw a spaceship after this. Yeah, you will actually. Can you draw a box in three D? I can 3D? totally draw boxes. Okay. I got math. It's the art. I have a hard time with. <laughs> All right. So you can see here we're we're starting to get a we're starting to get a spaceship. And I'm sorry the audio is only in one track. I I might have to get a special microphone or figure out the settings on these microphones. I apologize. If it's if it's really bad, I I'm sorry. Um, one other thing you want to do is make sure you draw through. So you can see the other side of these. Uh, and that helps you make sure that you're you're lining everything up. So, if we were to draw, if we were to cut this box up like this, 
okay? Just put a cut right there, which means it's gonna match over here on that side. Now we know where to put this other engine over here. Mm. Okay, and we're not gonna see it in the finished drawing. We maybe, we maybe we will in the finished side. But just so you don't have a wing poking out wonky? Yeah, this is just so you know where it is. And then you can your attach, <laughs> yeah, it's a little off. Then you attach your, um, your wing over to it on that side. And, and then what you could do is like cut this box into pieces like this. And now your spaceship isn't a box. It's more of a triangular shape. And then maybe you want to have a cockpit like right here in the middle. Mine are more organic. <laughs> Okay, so so now we're now. This sauce is a glass spaceship. Oh yeah, like with those see-through Legos. Yeah, yeah, or Wonder Woman's Wonder Woman's spaceship. Okay, we're gonna add another box up here. And have this be um, like an engine on the top, or maybe it's like communications, or maybe it's another wing. Something like that. That might work. Okay, where are they? Yeah, on the top. So let's just make sure everything is working here. If you could see, like, all of these are going off into some sort of perspective point back here, which is just off the screen. And I'm not a stickler for, like, sticking, like, doing perfect perspective all the time. But you should kind of know what you're doing with perspective. Okay, now let's add yeah, some. And that says fuel scoop. Yeah. Fuel scoop. Um, I don't know. In this context, I'm not sure. Please explain fuel fuel <laughs> scoop. <laughs> and again, sorry about the audio. It's it's left ear only. It's because I have a microphone that may only be recording one track. I'm not sure how to solve that for this particular YouTube problem. It works for um, like Zoom meetings. Works great for that. If anybody wants to come over to his office and show him how to do it, that'd be yeah. cool. Okay, now we're just adding like little extra components in, in places here. This is all like maybe communication devices. <laughs> My right ear feels left out. <laughs> Warp combobulator. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah, warp combobulator. Yannick, I'm sorry about your right ear. You can flip your headphones around halfway through. Or so. listen to something else in the other ear. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we've got um, one thing. One thing that's nice when you're working in Photoshop is you can like stretch it out if you need to. If you want your spaceship to be a little bit longer, which is what we're going to try and do. Yeah, it's like cheating. Exactly. That's why we use. That's why we use Photoshop. And you can go in here and you can kind of distort things a little more, force the perspective in places. Okay. All right. So now we've got a, a base. Let's go in and and delete uh, or erase some of these extra lines that are confusing us. I want to know what other people are doing on Saturday, like today. Yeah. Why are you guys on YouTube? On a beautiful Saturday like this. Yeah, why are you here? <laughs> um, MF says that fuel scoop is a sci-fi concept or trope about gathering energy from stars and nebula. Oh, but that's what the ship is. I got you. Oh, right, right. Just <laughs> CP says, just put on some jazz in your right ear. There you go. There you go. Jazz in the right ear, Jake in the left. That should work. Okay, so now we've got this as a base, and we're going to just lighten it up just a pinch, and we're going to go in and do um start doing our our drawing like our some more spaceship detail stuff um, pizza sauce is playing video game cool what video game are you playing pizza sauce i have a really hard time actually calling this person pizza sauce because i feel silly listen don't make fun of someone i'm not that, making fun of because that's what their mom named them <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> 
Our, we were going to have our youngest somebody ask me, what are you going to name her? And I said, Penelope. And they laughed and said, no, really. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's really what we're really, going to name her. It really is. But Penelope. The look on their face was awesome. Um, Yannick is studying for art history exam. Oh, good luck. Stardew Valley. I have no idea what game that is. Stardew Valley. Is that, that's like a, one of those farming games, right? Where you like grow stuff. I think so. We we haven't done a ton of video games, Allison and I, in our life. That's my fault. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry. No, it's not, and it's not entirely your fault. I don't like I don't like how this looks. We're gonna do more Angular. We can do when our like kids that. were little, they tried everything they could to trick us into getting video games. Yeah, we were like primarily concerned with like having them think and do things creatively outside of like the the constraints of, of video games. I mean, they still had. Plus, we got addicted to that one video yeah, game when true. the kids were tiny and we didn't want that happening to them. <laughs> oh, he says it is a farming game or she. I don't know. Um. So we end up getting a Wii, and they do, they do. Accidentally, we accidentally got. <laughs> we do stuff like that. We do like Mario Kart, and Smash. What's it called? Smash something. Or Smash Bros. We I call it Kung Fu Mario. You kids playing that Kung Fu Mario again? <laughs> Nobody else wants to admit what their Saturday plans are. Yep. Grocery shopping. Done it. So now I'm just I'm using the the this like very blocky shape as like the the underdrawing, and I'm just going in and adding little details of technical bits, stuff that you'd want to see on the front of your spaceship. They're like communication devices and scanners and shield generators. Stuff like that. Thanks, Eric. Eric says I'll check out the replay. Have a good day. See ya. Thanks for coming. My first day at work starts Monday, and I'm too excited to sleep now when I should be. <laughs> so I might as well learn something. That's awesome. Congratulations on the new job. Yeah. I'm doing nothing, and now I get to watch Jake Barker draw spaceships. Eating popcorn, watching Jake draw. That's what I want to do. Um... <laughs> I once tricked my mom into buying me scribble knots because I told her it helped me with spelling. Okay, Tate did the same thing. Do you remember we got scribble knots? Uh huh. My son, who's now 21, did the exact same thing, and I thought that was the most hilarious game ever. Scribble knots was, was fun. That was a cool game. Lakos waiting for my soccer match. Good luck. Hope you do well. Don't get hurt. Pizza sauce says, What if you added a radio antenna? That'd be cool. Coming out the front? Or should it come out the top? Let's see. Okay, now we've got ourselves a cockpit. We're doing good. Ship's coming right along. And this is kind of this um, this front here. This is sort of reminding me of <clears throat> like a backwards snow speeder from uh, Empire Strikes Back. Just the, this top part there. That's what I'm thinking in my head right now. It's what I want it to kind of look like. I think Jay has not begun his morning here. Um, MF says asymmetrical ships are so much fun. I have to agree. Yeah. Top with one of those cheesy toppers, like a little Mickey Mouse um, <laughs> antenna topper. Yeah. What else are you doing today, Jake? Um, I went to Costco, so that was good, and I got a um, rotisserie chicken. 
what else are you doing <laughs> today? I'm actually asking you. I have no idea what are your plans for the rest of the day. Um, you working? No, just once I do this, I'm I'm gonna be done for the day. I think. And I've got nothing else. What do you got going on? Well, the kids all have friends over. I think we're swimming. Just put a big engine on the top of there like that. You know what you need to do is collaborate a spaceship with Miles because he likes to design cars and tells me all about mm -hmm. air intakes and fuel blah uh, stuff I don't understand and he would definitely have opinions about it. Yeah, he would. That'd be good. All right, so we got that. You could see here that like I'm still keeping basic shapes, but I am definitely like complex complexifying them up. That's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jake's the king of making up words. Yeah, complexifying. There's a new movie coming out next week called um, Lightyear. And I was at Target and noticed the Lightyear toys that they have coming out. And they have like a series of spaceships that are... That you're suddenly going to own? Incredible. <laughs> Father's Day is in a week or two. Yeah. Is that, it's not weird that, that, no, I want, that I want toys, children's Jake, toys. Jake usually gets a dinosaur and a Hawaiian shirt for Father's Day. <laughs> The essentials. Matt, if that doesn't tell you all you need to know about Jake. <laughs> all right. Let's do something interesting with this. Let's like have it come out like that or something. Wow, light years only a week away. I thought it came out like at the end of the summer. No, Jeez. remember Father's Day. I don't remember that. <laughs> June seventeenth. Speaking of which, you better thank Trump to be for your dad. That's right. He's what are you? What is, I want to know what everybody else is doing for their fathers for Father's Day. Well, I guess is Father's Day only in the U.S. I don't know. Um, my dad's getting a Buzz Lightyear spaceship. <laughs> One that's previously <laughs> been opened and played with for about 10 minutes? <laughs> Maybe. I had a great idea for what to do for my dad for Father's Day, mm -hmm. and then I forgot, and I cannot remember what it was. Oh, uh, Haku Mayat says, you basically taught me how to draw, so I love your, love your every courses, bless you, and please make more courses. That was really nice. Great. Jake, have you seen Gravity Falls? Um, I have seen not all of it. I've seen, I need to finish it, but it, I had definitely have an appreciation for it. Our kids like it a lot. Yeah. What's the one we watch at Halloween? Or um, Over the Garden Wall. Oh, yeah. That one's another. Have you seen the new Top Gun? No. <laughs> it was really good. <laughs> Too busy to watch movies. Oh, whatever. You were camping. Um, how often do you draw inspiration from the toys you have? <laughs> oh, somebody got their dad Jack Kirby books. Um, toys that I have, I am, yeah, I'm watch. I'm, I'm always pulling inspiration from them. He has to say that, otherwise he just has them to play with. Yeah. They're reference material. Like the dinosaurs, I will pull those out a lot and just be like, okay, what do they look like from the back view? What do they look like from the front view, from the side? How's their spaceship looking? Uh, it's coming up. Not that aerodynamic. Hey, look who's here. Anthony, hey, Anthony Wheeler. Anthony, notice how the sound is only coming in one ear. That is actually on purpose. <laughs> no, hey. We want <laughs> okay, can I make a comment? And maybe I'm wrong, but it looks like this wing is farther forward than the other wing. Like that that one comes. This right here? That that comes at a longer angle than the one on the other side. Maybe I'm so, wrong. So... Let's figure it out. Oh, look. 
So it should be more like this? No, it looks like... Well, maybe I'm wrong. Anthony says, Gravity Show Falls is the one show our entire family loves. Even my wife couldn't get enough. That was us and the Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, maybe this, this is too much. Maybe. I think that... That made it look more like a airplane uh -huh. than looks like a spaceship. We can have, like, maybe what we have is um, a fin that comes out like this. Now we're back in airplane territory. Yeah. So we can't have fins back there, guys. If you're drawing along, do not put a fin back there. <laughs> erase, erase. Well, isn't an airplane just a Earth spaceship? So the the different what's weird is it looks like the spaceship's going this way and then this thing's going like that, you know. So I think. Hi, Giorgio. Ah. Oh yeah, gotta save your drawings too at some point. So let's save it really quick. Um, we'll just put it in here and we'll call it. Oh no, we'll put it in here and we'll call it. Not an airplane. Yeah. Stream ship. We'll call it Star Star Stream. It's a Star Streamer. Are these swatches are custom made by Jake or presets? These right here. Um, these are pre just presets. I only have one custom swatch, and oh, I forgot it deleted when you my lost. computer crashed. This is Control S every five seconds. Control S every. Okay, so if you are just joining us, we're drawing spaceships today. We're celebrating my spaceships book, which um, let's check really quick and see how we're doing. Have any of you guys backed this this Kickstarter? I have. <laughs> there it is. Browser time. We have. So this is the Kickstarter. Um, yeah, we've had one more person. Was it six ninety seven? I thought so. All right. I think it was more than that. I think it was like okay, four, four I'm people. I'm gonna remember six ninety eight, and at the end we should say six ninety eight. We're trying to get to seven hundred on this stream. We're trying to get to seven hundred. So <laughs> what you do is you go up to the. Here's what you do. You go up to the um, over on the, um, the the pinned chat at the very top. Click on that, and it'll take you right to this Kickstarter page. And you should click back this project. And what's cool, what I'm doing is we've got artwork, original art that I'm selling. And you can add it on. And they go fast. Um, I think these are still available. I haven't checked to see if anybody bought these yet. But I haven't so updated. what you're doing today, you're going to put on there? Yeah, so what I'm drawing today is going to be June 14th's piece. Kevin West gets credit because he already or, backed. Or maybe June 13th. And if Kevin already backed, then he is, he's my hero for the day. So is EC. Um, EC Eli Blue too. says, always wanted to learn how to draw spaceships. Yeah. This is so cool. Okay. Does that look weird? It looks It looks all we right. We can't see it. We've got to switch. Back. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Got to switch back to Cintiq time. There we go. That's better. That looks better. Have you seen Drawfee? What's that? Drawfee. D R A W F E E. Drawfee. Um. I don't know what that is. I haven't seen it. Drawfee. Is that like drawing coffee? <laughs> okay, we're gonna add a couple more like little things sticking out here. Drawing feet, but not. We've got the engines working on their side there. Gonna add a few more panels. Georgios about the presets. Who needs them anyway? Yeah. This would be fun if you could hang out with all these people like in real life while you draw. That would be cool. All right, let's turn it over here and flip this thing. 
Okay, now we're gonna go in and um, add like an antenna. We're gonna make things a little asymmetrical. We've already got it in the front, we're gonna do it in the back here too. Um, maybe like a, a vent back there. We're gonna have two little antenna sticking out there and no are you getting hot in here no no i was on here it's fine oh convention eat and draw uh-huh yep i'll bring the food oh, they got the pictures though i, I thought <laughs> we were going to do something like that before covid i don't remember what the specifics were but we were planning something like that yeah, we're going to draw, do like a live get together. And draw. And I was going to bring food. All right, you guys. This looks like it's ready for inking, inking to get printed out and inked. You guys want to do that? Um, I guess. I guess so. So, what we're going to do is before we print, I always just do a. Um, Oops. Keep this up in aisle eight. Perfect. We're going to lighten it up there. And um, and then print it on a 8.5 by 11 sheet. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll give that a second to print over at the printer. Pull it up, make sure the printer's like seeing, catching it. Yep. Printer's working. And while we're waiting for that, let's go check the, um, listen, the, uh, um, the Kickstarter. And let me re hit refresh. Did anybody back it? <laughs> I need, I need one of y'all, one of y'all to back it. Nope. <laughs> You're gonna make it a grown man cry. You're gonna make it a grown man a cry. He's suddenly <laughs> Italian. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I guess if you're going back to the sound thing, I guess if you're listening on um, headphones, it's very apparent. But Anthony said he in his, in his speakers, he it's not so know. bad. Here's the the extras or the revisions that I'm really excited about are the sticker set. You got a Kepler shipyard sticker, uh, a lucky star, a flying saucer, and a space trippin'. The space trippin' sticker um, was Lucy's big idea. Your camera is suddenly right at a light, which is really bright. I know it's that camera oh. over there. So sorry, guys. The, he drew the spaceships for the stickers first, and they were really boring. Yeah. And he got way more input than he wanted from the family. Okay. Let's just get that to six ninety nine. Can we do? Can we do that? Just go draw. <laughs> uh, okay, sketchbook time. So now we have our drawing here. You're gonna spill that. And, uh, and what we're gonna do first is um, we're gonna cut it, cut it down to size. So, let me grab my, my cutting board. Uh, Anthony says, on desktop speakers, the audio is a little low. I've got you all turned up. Just give me the pin now. Now. I don't know. I might just have to get it. Maybe this microphone isn't the best setup for streaming. Um... We'll see. How about Anthony gets the first pin? Okay. <laughs> now, no, but I was waiting so I could be the 700th, but I guess I'll be the 699th. <laughs> <laughs> A fellow derp says, my left ear is enjoying this. <laughs> okay, I'm scooting over. I'm not on camera, so I'm right here, right? Yeah. So there's... Eight and a half, and there's eight and a half. 
Can they hear you now that you're over there? Can you guys still hear Jake? Oh, I should bring this mic over so I'm closer. How's that? Is that good? All right. That's all lined up. You want a CB radio antenna? Well, we, you know, stuff happens during the inking process too, so we'll okay. see. We'll see. I, this is really thick cardstock, so it takes a couple tries with the X-Acto knife. All right, now we've got that cut. And I have a history with X-Acto knife. Sorted past. My fellow Dirk's name is Jake too, by the way. Hi, fellow Jake. Jake likes to, our Jake likes to open things with an exacto knife, boxes and things, but he's not very careful. And for the last 23 years, I've been telling him, oh, be careful, oh, put down the exacto knife before you finish opening something. And I no longer have to say that after he stabbed himself in the leg accidentally. Yeah, don't do that anymore. Wouldn't it be funny if I cut myself no. on the live stream? <laughs> blood all over it. We just add it to the art. I'll ask, you know, who else bleeds for their art, bleeds for their spaceships? I don't think you'd be able to sell the original, though. So I have this pen, which is starting to dry out, but we're going to keep it because sometimes you want, like, a dry... Faded? Yeah, like a dry line. All right. Blade safety is important. That's right, <laughs> MF. He wasn't going to tell me that he stabbed himself either. But a friend called, a friend who's a yeah. nurse called and said, so how many stitches did Jake have to get? And I said, wait, what? What are you talking about? He said, oh, he <laughs> called me and said, does this need stitches? Oh, that was really funny. It was. Good times. <laughs> okay. I always, when I'm inking, like, very long lines. I'm pulling the, the pen towards me. And that's just a way to, um, it's just a way to like keep control because it's, it's harder for me. I don't know. It's harder to push. Um, Ink Dude says, absolutely love your line style. This is exciting. See, and now, like, I like figuring out stuff while I'm inking. So that's why I didn't do too much detail in there. So what I'm thinking is sticking out here at the end. This is like, I don't know if you've ever heard the term greebles before. Have you, you heard it? I honestly haven't. <laughs> it has a Wikipedia page. And Did you make it? No. I, <laughs> the term comes from, it was actually a term made by... Um, special effects guys Greebles? yeah and i think it was it may have gone back to star wars and so you know when you look at the spaceships in star wars they have all these like little what? little pieces sticking mm -hmm. off them they call them greebles greebles yeah greebles for kit bashing and he just made that up. <laughs> no do you know what kit bashing Not a is clue. you guys are just saying nonsense <laughs> and trying to make me feel like i don't know what's going on in the world okay Kit bashing is legit, but you guys can actually start saying some nonsense, and <laughs> and we can just trick Allison. Um, Greebles, that is made up for sure. So kit bashing is when you get a model kit and you like say you might get like a tank and a and a a hot like a hot rod and a helicopter, yeah. and you would cut them all apart and you'd build a new vehicle out of all those pieces. <laughs> Does anybody else do Wordle? Our family has become obsessed. I'd like to look at your record for how many <laughs> how many times you've got it in but three. But no one in our house has gotten more obsessed than Jake. How, how many times have you gotten it in three tries? Three have lines. Have you tried Octortle yet? The eight puzzles at a time? It's so fun. Okay. Octortle is for people who... Have nothing else money. <laughs> fellow Dirk says, I just got the Pentel art brush art brush pen from your website and I love it a lot but now that I see you using a brush pen I realize how much I need to practice it takes practice I think the main 
thing people like don't realize once they get it is just how um, soft you need to be with it. You don't push down hardly at all. It's I always like to say the tip of the the pen should be licking the page like a hummingbird licks a flower. Now I'm grossed out. <laughs> just imagine a hummingbird licking a your artwork. Just licking the flower. Okay. <laughs> a fellow dirt says he he or I'm guessing he says wordle with their dad. Oh cool. We got all of our kids in on it. We all have to do it at the same time so everybody knows not to look at each other's Chromebook or computer or phone or whatever they're doing it on. Yeah. Should we zoom in here? Let's see if we can zoom. Does my... I think it's good. Well, we want them to see if it's good. I, I'm using a camera here that should be able to zoom. Zoom. Come on. All right. Sorry, I can't zoom. Hopefully you're getting what you need from this. Yeah. Wordle is usually my how I wake up. <laughs> and if he doesn't get it, he has the worst day. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I I What's shouldn't I didn't get the wordle. I shouldn't let a word game um, dictate how, how I should feel all day. There was one something happened one day. You didn't get the wordle and something else little. Yeah, it was first like first thing in the morning. Five things that day. And just pushed you right over the edge. Yeah. Mixter D. What is that? I don't know how YouTube works, but it, <laughs> I think Mixter D just did something. did something, and I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You really should figure out what that is. Thank you, Mixter D. You are you're very special to me. <laughs> Add a little shadow there. Look at that. Money on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Not paid. I'm serious. All right. Mixture D, thank you for the 10 bucks. You know what I'm going to spend that on? What should we spend on? M milk? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say a box of butter. Milk and a box of cereal. <laughs> you, so next time we sit down to eat cereal as a family. We're going to praise Mixture D's name. We're going to, yep. We're gonna thank Mixer Mixer D for making that possible. What else can you do on YouTube? Hit me. How does that work? Um. Like for instance, how did he donate nine ninety nine? I think he just hooked hooked up his um. He hooked up his credit card to to YouTube. And he and he said. I bet Anthony knows how that works. Yeah. We're so we're such n noobs here with Plus we're old. with streaming. We're old. Oh, that's what my problem is. I need my glasses. <laughs> I'm like, why, why, why okay, can't I see so this? There's a decent number of artists that do commissions with brush pens or bottled inks. It's awesome to watch them in person if you can. Like at a convention. One thing that's going to make your spaceship look amazing, guys, is panel lines. Okay, wait. Audi August says there's a money button down here. Look right there. Oh, money button. <laughs> okay, everybody push that button. <laughs> Anthony says, what kind of cereal would you get? Okay, so Jake loves the homeless cereal, and I say homeless because it doesn't come in a box. I like the bagged, um, they're like called, honey smacks they're golden, puff things. yeah, golden they puffs or something so like that. Bad. They're they're puffed wheat with sugar on them. These guys are funny. Yeah, Nick says, this breakfast was sponsored by we should post a little picture of his, um, whatever that is. Yeah. At the breakfast table. That's right. He says, I'll explain. <laughs> Anthony says, don't worry, I'll explain the YouTubes to the older crowd. <laughs> My mom does say the Facebook. But I think she's mostly kidding. You, you never know. The internet. 
it would be fun to hang out with other people. How long have you been using brush pens and do you ever use Procreate? This is a fellow that says. Um, I have used Procreate and I think it's great. Um, did you start using brush pens when you're first being sober? That like why you did it so you could learn to use a brush pen? So the first time I ever you inked with a brush was in high school. And what happened was in my high school art class, um, there's a, a, a political cartoonist named Mike Ritter who worked for the Mesa Tribune. He came to our, our art class and just showed us how he worked as a as a car professional cartoonist. It was the coolest thing ever. And he busted out a, a brush and dipped it in an ink well. Like an actual brush, not a brush pen? Yeah. And and he inked with it. And I was like, oh, that's how you get those lines. Because I thought those thicks and thins you made from like going over, going it over the line the over and over again. And so, um, and so then I was like, I got home and I was like, Okay, I got to go to the art store and get um, cuz this is before you could order stuff online cuz there was no online. The internet. Yeah. There's no internet. Uh so I went to the art store, I got ink and a brush, and I went home and I started messing around with it and I made like I don't know, five drawings with it and I was like, "Oh, this is cool, but it's kind of impractical cuz um you got to bust out the ink and the brush and you got to wash it when you're done. And it just was, it was a lot of work. And so I went back to using like rapidographs. Um, then in 2009, I was working at Blue Sky Studios and my friend Willie Real, he had gone to like a Japanese bookstore, stationery store. I think it was Books Kunikuniya. And he he came to work with, or maybe he'd gone to, to Japan. I don't know. Anyways, he had these Japanese brush pens, and he was inking with them. He's doing really cool stuff with them. I was like, "Can I? Um, can we try that? Can I try that?" And I found it was like, "Oh, this is like drawing with a brush, but you don't have to clean it up or anything. You just put the cap on and you're done." And so, um, I since 2009, I've been drawing with a with a brush pen. And it took a long time to get confident with it. It did. See, public education. That high school art class. Yeah. There's some really good teachers out there who, who love their students. and. We should go do visits at the local high schools to offer. Especially the ones our kids go to. Um, are you going to make any Procreate videos? Also, when are you going to go to conventions on the East Coast? When am I going to go to conventions on the Here's East Coast? Here's the thing. That's really far away from us. And if you fly, you have to take every... If you drive, it's a million dollars in gas. And if you fly, you have to take all those boxes or ship them. But then you can't just... It Wasn't that the one where they charged you to carry it from the loading dock? To yeah. The floor and they didn't let you carry it yourself? Yeah, or it was... They, let, they wouldn't let you use a dolly because they want you to pay for yeah. the fee. Yeah. It, that was starting to happen at a lot of these conventions where you weren't allowed to carry your books from your car to the – you couldn't use a dolly. So you could carry you them carry, by hand. But it was like a quarter of a mile from where you parked. Yeah. And it was so that um, the Teamsters could have a job. a job. Now, I don't know all – everything there is to know about Teamsters, but I know – you're going to have to work out some more if you're going to be able to go do that and yeah. carry all the books at once. Or the other thing is don't bring books and just go and... Charge for a handshake? No, I <laughs> wouldn't do that. But charge for... Just do, like, um, commissions and prints and yeah. pins. Pins, stickers. And stickers. Solo Dirk says, I'm only 12, but I know I want to make comics and art like you. Three quarters of my inspiration lately for drawing is you. That's really nice. Three quarters. I want to know what that other quarter is. Because we have a 12-year-old who likes to draw. <laughs> and that says, that sounds like West Coast nonsense. You know, there's nonsense everywhere you go, <laughs> I've found. Nobody really has the market for me on nonsense. Yeah. I 
wish there was one when we were going to be at Grandma's house this summer. No. So we could write off our travel expenses. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. This original piece of art is going to be for sale on the, the Kickstarter. As an add-on? As an add-on on Monday. So if you want to actually own this one, you can. And I'm trying to do... Um, I'm trying to do pieces for, like, every budget. So, um, so I'm not, like... You know, some of them are kind of expensive just because they're they're large, detailed pieces. Take a lot longer to make. Yeah. So check back on Monday if if this is something you're gonna want. Um, a fellow derp says the other quarter is Kesh and Sam does art. Kesh, you know Kesh, hun? You remember him? Mm -hmm. He he's um he's my Indian friend. His accent and just and sit and listen when you were talking to him. Speaking of that, he wants to have me on the podcast again, his podcast again. So I need to, I'm supposed to get a, a date. I will be eavesdropping on that one. Keep up the good work. I'm disappointed because I couldn't do the Inktober last year, but I'm waiting for this year, this one impatiently. Great. <laughs> Pizza sauce again. Hello, cheesy radio antenna. <laughs> All right, where would we put it? says worked too recently in the Midwest East and they didn't always have dollies available but they never stopped anyone from bringing their stuff any way possible you should go to whichever city that person is from cash is good there's your cheesy radio <laughs> antenna What? Without you. Why? <laughs> I was working on a quilt yesterday. Nobody else was home, and I needed something to watch that I could just listen to and not have to watch every okay. second of it to know what's going on. So this is funny, because this morning she's like, when that sun hits us, it's like a vampire. And, and she's like, or that character from Star Wars. And I was like, from Solo? She's like, yeah. And I was like, wow. <laughs> when did she watch Solo? <laughs> Uh, I have to funny. trick you into thinking I'm cooler than I actually am. Pizza Sauce is happy with the uh, antenna. Did it for you, Pizza Sauce. Did it for you. That might be too long, actually. It should probably end, like, right there. So not with all that. Does that seem right? It seems right, doesn't it? No, that seems too short. Too short? Because look, you have, I'm going to stick my hand in here. Okay. You have this whole part, which mm. I think it's I think it's right for longer. That's why, I don't know, ask them. They're all artsier than I am. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter. And if people are like, why is that wing shorter? Mm -hmm. I could say. Um, that wasn't that's how the engineers designed it, so it could fit in it's the garage. Not supposed to be. <laughs> so it could like fit in the garage the better. Off the ham <laughs> yeah. We have Ruby Lee joining you from Korea. We have a friend named Ruby Lee. Hey, Ruby Lee. That should work. All right, we're getting. This is a cool spaceship. I'm actually. Yeah, you want one. Somebody needs to make a toy of this so I, Jake can have it on his shelf. I really like this one. I feel like I should have. Um, I feel like it's a missed opportunity for Pixar not to have called me to help work on Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody logic a point. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Pizza sauce, I'm not going to tell him what you just said because... What do you say? The antenna used too many parts. 
What? He doesn't like my antenna? It might be a sheep. You ask for it, I do it, then you complain you're gonna about get, it. You're going to get the dad uh, monologue here. Get out and walk. <laughs> <laughs> Deliberately asymmetrical ship to balance the asymmetrical cannon. See? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. It's totally on purpose. You guys know. Okay, we're going to do some... Um, we are going to have some vents in here. Okay, but we're going to change it up a little bit from the sketch. Allison's gone. So, can say, now you guys could say whatever you want. Nice things about her, not mean things. <laughs> she's, she's fun. She's been helping me with um, streaming. I've been streaming on, what's it called? Instagram. I did a test on, um, on a couple of tests on Twitch, and and now I'm doing it on YouTube. I'm not. I think I like YouTube the best, actually. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to go stream on Twitch. Especially if Anthony's listening, he's been he's been a very strong advocate for for Twitch. They were saying nice things about you. No baloney. <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't even look up. The wing looks smaller because of the antenna. Ah, oh, okay. You don't have to get out and walk. Well, thank you. I'll keep you going. You have the dog sitting right outside your office. Hi, Walter. Connected. Does Walter want to draw? The thing, the reason you want to add panels to everything is, um, like, if you ever look at a car, they're divided up into panels, right? So, and the reason is because you can't, like, manufacture a car in one piece of, with one piece of metal. And so adding panels just adds to the believability of your, of your spaceship. So that's my... It's my pro tip. And then anywhere you can, add little, um, just little pieces where it, it looks like these are like access. Um, like you might open up this little door here to get to some tube that needs to be like or that's where you switched. Your right, yeah. You know, when you're on a long space flight, you want you your snacks back there. <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> That's where you put the snacks in, so that when you're in your spaceship, you can push a little button and snacks come through. There you go. Okay, now we're going to go in here, and we're just going to... Audio Gus, this has been the highlight of my day. All right. Audio Gus, your, comment, your comment was the highlight of my day. It's not that it's your anniversary, honey. Well, there's that. There's okay. that. <laughs> Uh, what if Walter was driving the spaceship? He would probably do a better job than some of our children actually. And Allison's correct. It is our anniversary. We have been married for... 23 years. 23 years. Creative. I like that you paused there. Just I was waiting to see... Right. No, I knew. I was waiting to see if you got it right. I can never remember exactly which day our anniversary is. And see... Uh, creative face. How's everybody's Saturday going? <laughs> oh, that's how you fill the ship's gas tank. There you go. That's a good. That's a good idea. So when you draw the interior of this ship, you need to make sure there's a little arrow next to the gas gauge that points to that side. Yeah. Okay, our ship is inked, but I think we need um, space. Some space behind it. Let me give it a little space. Me too, 23 years. Wait, you've been married 
There we go. Oh, married in 99. Okay, it takes us a minute. Remember the yep. internet swirled? Married in 99. Um, <laughs> should I do black behind it? No, because then it'll be, well, I don't know. I'm not artsy. I don't know if I like it because it's in, it's yeah. diagonal. I don't think it's almost. Ask good. Calvin. Good designing. Calvin, come here. Calvin. Shop, stay there. Does this need to go, should I do a black bar behind it, or should I have something different? Um, something different. Okay. Calvin's, Calvin's my art director. art director. He never steers me wrong. I steer you wrong all the time. Allison never steers me wrong either. Maybe there's like a bunch of shooting stars. I don't know. All right. This is my favorite um, eraser. It's called the Sumo Grip by Sakura. And it erases very cleanly. And what's cool is when you erase. Look at this. Mixer D. Mixer dinner. D. Cereal and now what? Sausage? We're going to have sausage, <laughs> sausage and eggs. Sausage does not go with cereal. We're gonna, instead of cereal, we're having sausage and eggs for breakfast. You're amazing. Mixer D, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. That was very sweet. So all he, all he did was push that button down there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so Happy cool. anniversary. That's a cool little, uh, um, like like a Yorkie Dog. or a, a she, Shibu. Shibuini? Yeah. Samurai. That's awesome. Thank you so much. That was very sweet. Maybe it needs to be like this. Yeah, a diagonal one. Oh yeah, I got to follow it then. Hmm, I should have thought about this at the beginning. When I was um, drawing the ship, <laughs> yeah. Well, ask them. Did you guys prefer diagonal? Or straight. We're gonna do a black background, or straight. Does black background mess with the lines on your ship? The out outside lines. You know what? Maybe we. I don't know that you want to add some. Well, I don't know. No, you know what? We're not. We're just gonna we're just gonna color the ship. It's gonna be like a little piece of concept art. And. I know this one doesn't tell a story, honey, but um, I'm going to, I'm still going to do that. I'm still going to do that. I told him he needs to do an illustration, something that tells a story that happens to have a spaceship in it. Yeah. He's going to do that somewhere. Have you done any tiger robots recently? No, but Calvin's my tiger robot boy. And he wants you to. All right. Maybe it's this ship is reporting on a mission to investigate a barge that spilled its hello cargo into the great beyond. That's a really good backstory. <gasps> Pizza sauce just back. Right. Okay, let's we gotta check this Kickstarter now. We gave them such a hard time. We gotta check the Kickstarter. Gonna go to this. Oh look at that. Seven hundred backers. We did it, you guys. That's amazing. Seven hundred backers. Thank you so much. We're at thirty five thousand. Creative space says you can have the ship going through a mine or asteroid field. Yeah. Tiny planet and space station. Oh, that's nice. What what might be cool is to just do Kirby Crackle in the background. You can put a sticker on the wing. I mean, I think it meant to say wing. It should tell a story. Do, uh, fellow Jeff wants to know, just wondering, do you have an upload schedule on YouTube? Not yet, but um, I want to make that a, a thing. What is that? So essentially what people do is they um, they post their schedule. Like I'm going to upload every – I'm going to um, – was it upload or streaming? They said an upload schedule on YouTube. Oh, I know what a streaming schedule is. It just says this is when I'm going to be streaming. Yeah. Jake's life isn't organized enough to do something like that. Can never go wrong with Kirby Crackle. What's Kirby Crackle? 
Remember, it's that um, that background stuff that looks like space. Oh, like you did on those other little. Yeah. Kirby does round, like circles, and I, messing around with this the other day, I was like, what if we did squares? So that's my, we're going to call it Jake Crackle. <laughs> and it's squares instead of. That'll, this is good. This is much better. Star Wars thing? No, or a superhero thing? What if? Yeah, 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 that's right. The animated, the animated stuff. You remember. Well, they could have mentioned it five or six hundred times. It sounded to me like one of those Choose Your Own Adventure books. What if? Yeah. Did I just date myself? Do they even make those anymore? Um... Off Oops, here we go. Thanks. Yeah, do they still make those? I don't know. Those drove me crazy. You didn't like them? I hated them. How come? I don't want to have to make decisions when I'm reading. I just want to read. <laughs> I want someone else to tell me the story. The Choose Your Own Adventure books felt like the author was getting away without making up a story. Like, they could just have no idea and write a book without having to write a book. And then, I, I, no, I didn't like that at all. And that's everything you need to know <laughs> about Allison Parker. Do not make me do the work. <laughs> I need to wait for the ink to catch up. What is that? Um, there's. Was it the new one? Yeah, this is well. This is a. Oh. A thicker one. Um, do you want a test sheet? No, I can. I can just go in here. It's a little dry, but it's got ink. It just I'm waiting for the ink to like catch up. Mm, what if we got out the brush and the ink? Well. Me too. I got your ink. You want me to go put water in here? Uh yeah, go put a little water in there. And I'll grab the One thing when you're inking is you want to have a um, an, apron. an apron on. Oh, we gotta switch it back to sketchbook mode. Thanks for backing everybody again. There's a choose your own adventure graphic novel. Split decision comic made by Ben Bishop. So I always thought it was cool. I was actually way into those books um, because it was like a, um, it was like a, kind of like a game, you know? And, and, and also, um, it's not less work for the, um, for the author. It's, I think, more work because they got to, they actually have to write multiple stories. Okay. Wait, I already got ink on it. Ink's messy. I think I didn't like it because it slowed me down. Hmm. You're like, okay, I'm going to read this book this afternoon. And then you're like, oh, I have to choose... Oh, and also, were you? Did you want to like read all the different endings? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just wanted a story. I like, you know, I read fast. Yeah. So 
I like, it's like watching a movie I, when I read fast. I just like to absorb all the details at the same time. And that thing was like a abrupt slamming on the brakes every time I had to choose something. It took me out of the world for sure. Mm -hmm. That's fair. That's what keeps us up. There's sometimes hours of work because you skip doing one thing. Do you know what's kind of nice about streaming together, you huh. and me? Is we actually get to spend time together. <laughs> well, the kids are trashing the house. I just had to go lock the doggy door to the outside because I just got a text that my brother and sister are bringing their dogs over to play with our dogs so we can get exercise. Oh. He's a big fat guy and I don't want them all in the house. Wait, how many dogs are going to be here? A few. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's too hot for me to go outside and exercise him. Creative say, same here, I'm a binge reader. Jake used to get frustrated because he would get me a book for my birthday or, you know, whatever, Valentine's Day anniversary, and I'd have it read within a couple of hours, and he would, you know, he didn't even enjoy that. But I did. But you do, and you did. And you've read him more than once. Some, yeah. Some of them. I like now reading um, like novels made for kids, like YA. Oh yeah. Did you just make that? No. Especially, um, what's it called? Historical fiction. Mm. I have some I'm reading right now about the Revolutionary War. Which ones? Um, there's the first one's called Chains. The second one's called Forge. Mm. And I haven't gotten to the third one yet. They're good. We've seen those on the bookshelf. I think I like the YA ones because I know they're not going to get horribly graphic or obscene. Well, thanks. Meanwhile, I cannot finish a book. Just save your life. I mean, I can finish a book, but... You fall asleep, though. That's your problem. It, how do you not fall asleep? I, if I have a book to read, I can't sleep. I have to know what happens. Creatively, my favorite fantasy series is Crown of Stars by Kate Elliott. Late, lighter than my shadow by Stephen King. I'm going to have to go look this up. I'm taking up this list. I think the trick with Kirby Crackle is to be thinking in um, fractals. So you have big ones, and then you have littler ones, and they're all working off each other. What's so funny? <laughs> um, do you have any tips or things you keep in mind when designing spaceships? Yeah, so spaceships are, um, remember they are vehicles typically created by people and engineers. So look at, um, look at your uh, uh, reference, like look at uh, airplanes, look at cars, look at anything, any sort of vehicle, and just start pulling uh, little pieces from each to put your, put your spaceship together. Um, you know, think about, I always like to think about the engineering behind it. Like, how would this have been manufactured? How would this have been designed? What are, you know, what are these pieces actually for? And, um, and I think that's what helps make it more believable. Um, if you guys like spaceships, and I know some people are new here, um, I have a, a Kickstarter launching right now, the Spaceships Kickstarter. You can see it right above my head there. And what this is, it's a book all about how to, um, it's not a how-to book. It's, all, it's a book all about um, spaceships and um, like a guide to intergalactic ones. And these are all like, 
fantasy ones that I've created over the years. I've drawn spaceships for fun. I've done some spaceships for, you know, concept artwork. Um, but, uh, and then I've done a bunch for like comics and, and things like that. And so I just wanted to like put them all into one book. And I have a character named Kepler who's kind of like our, our narrator. narrator of the book. And he runs a thing called Kepler Shipyards. And it's, I don't know, it's, it's fun. It's, a, it's a, a good excuse to like have a bunch of ships in a, in a single book. So uh, creative say you made a four page comic adaptation, adaption for a class of an excerpt from the first book. I like listening to how different people, like I would never be able to do something like that. Mm-hmm. I like listening to how really creative people um, use something that they've read or that they've seen and yeah. use it in their work. And like remix it into yeah. something new. Well, just that would never even enter my brain because I can't do stuff like that. To draw a, a comic of, yeah. the, of the story. <coughs> or like people who make musicals. Like I just think that is... Yeah, where do you even... Not something I could even begin to do. decide which ones are going to be filled in squares and which ones are going to be white squares? <coughs> um, I'm just paying attention to like my original pencil drawing. Okay. I have a friend joining you from Brazil. Hey, I wish I knew how to say hello in Brazil. In Portuguese, I mean. In Brazil. <laughs> in Brazilish. <laughs> Thank you. Who said that? Creative Faith. Creative Faith, thank you. How do you not stick your hand in it while you're waiting for it to dry? Do you just turn the page? Yep, you always just keep keep it on one side. Well, I'll upload it in the Discord later. Oh, the comic. Cool. That's right. I got a Discord, you guys, if you want to join. Um I don't know where I posted the link to. It's in. It's from my newsletter. It's mostly newsletter people. Do and you have a link to it every time your newsletter goes out? So if somebody signs up now but they didn't get it before. Yeah. Every newsletter has a has a link to it. <laughs> Last year, Junior says "Hola" or "Oi." Oi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Now let's get out the, this is my big, my big brush for filling in big stuff. Ryan Granger, love your style, Jake. Favorite spaceship from any media that's not the Millennium Falcon or Enterprise? Um, well, let's, let's take all Star Wars off the table. How about that? Because I was going to say the A-Wing or the X-Wing, but let's take all those off. There's actually, um, I was at Target uh, yesterday and I saw some Buzz Lightyear um, toys and for the new Lightyear movie and one of the spaceships on there is so so cool it's called the XL something, something. 5 I think I can't remember so we'll I'll just say keep an eye out for those Buzz Lightyear um, spaceships from the movie because the cool. they're pretty cool and they're kind of iconic but I really like the Veritech fighter from um, Macross or Robotech. Did you ever watch Robotech? <laughs> Do you, did you ever watch no, Robotech? I don't know what that is. Swordfish 2 from Cowboy Bebop is my first. That is made up. Sword, no, that is not made up. That's a good one. Um, <laughs> There's a thing called Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. It's, a, it's like a space... Um, it's an anime. It's a space, okay. uh, like, noir. Space says Moya from Farscape is a cool ship. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the Razor Crest. Oh, are you doing blue? Oh, it almost looks blue when you, on the camera. 
Oh, it did. That was really cool. Ah. Do you need some paper towel? I just got ink on the on the spaceship. Well, now that becomes a deep cut. Yeah, we're just gonna space damage. We're gonna add a little bit all over just to give it. <laughs> Just to make it look yeah. like it. This is why your apron is black. There we go. That's kind of cool. And that's how you make <laughs> lemonade out of out of, out uh, of ink spots. Lemons, or yeah. I need to make some lemonade for it. It's 112 degrees here outside today. Mm. We're trying to figure out how not to be so hot. Maybe I'll make some lemonade for all of you. Do you know what they would love? Huh. Cinnamon rolls. I'm not making cinnamon <laughs> Jake loves cinnamon rolls. It's his favorite food, and he tries any way he can to get cinnamon rolls. Hey, I uh, just want you to know there's people over here in Brazil who listen to the Three Point Perspective. Thanks for all the work. Really? You guys, I'm excited for newer projects. That was very nice. And uh, look at that Lisbon building. Yeah. Jake and I got married, he used to say that his mom had the best cinnamon rolls, and I took that as a personal challenge. How many years did it take <laughs> like to, 20 <laughs> to, to beat them? No, only like, I don't remember. You're like, first try. No. I started making really good cinnamon rolls only about 10 years ago. It's true. They're very good. It's not fair though, because my mom can't like retaliate Eat anymore. She's retired from cinnamon roll making. Yeah. That's the only way I can win at stuff is to say it to someone. I can't fight back. You can say it. Died. Died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't fight can't back. Fight back. <laughs> Although I thought it was very nice that your sister made your mom's version of cinnamon rolls for you because you love them. Yeah, she's, nice. she's a sweet girl. Samus chip is great. So is the R-Wing from Star Fox. Oh, yeah, the Star Fox. Um, what is another good spaceship? There's some cool spaceships in... Um, in uh, <laughs> Ryan Green did the next book, How to Make Cinnamon. Yeah. Kepler's Guide to Intergalactic Treats. Yeah. I was just thinking, if you can do YouTube and teach people how to ink spaceships, I should do YouTube and teach people how to do something. Cinnamon rolls. The Gunstar from The Last Starfighter. Yep. Gunstar is a good one. Really good one. Um... I like that. Um, remember in He Man, how that one, um, the one toy you could pop off the front and they could like fly it around. Mm -mm. I thought that was cool. I didn't have those toys. I had. Uh, I don't know why we had a cringer. I didn't have a He Man, but I had a cringer battle cat. You didn't have any like action figures. We did not have a lot of money. Mm. And I had a lot of brothers, and they were not as into He-Man and Thundercats as I was. I was just not into toys. They were just not old enough? Um, Missed the mark? They really liked basketball. Basketball. They were sports kids? Yeah, but they turned out to be teeny tiny sports kids, so should have paid more attention if they're teeny. Yeah. Uh, the drop ship from Alien. That one's a good ship. Um, I like the the shuttle from Avatar. You know the one. I, that, I know what you're talking about. I just can't picture it. It's like a, it's kind of like a really cool version of the space shuttle. Teacher thought there's a new Thundercats. Really. Have you seen the new Thundercats? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Is it? It was that DreamWorks one. It was like newly animated. Did I like it or would it ruin it? Uh, they only did one season, which was, 
dumb. And uh, it was good. It was cool. But the original's the best. The best. I liked gummy bears, too. Yeah, gummy bears were a lot of fun. Um, the EC says the battle cruisers and Vikings from StarCraft are pretty awesome. Yeah, those are great ships. Oh, Keith is off. We don't have Cartoon Network. <laughs> I really like the um, the landing craft, like the the I don't know what you would call it from Interstellar. I thought that was a cool ship. Okay. Um, I like. She's from Halo for the for Creative PlayStation. There's a really fun. It's, I guess it's not a spaceship, but they did fly it into space, I think, um, from Oblivion. Did you ever see Oblivion Is one, that the one with Tom Cruise? Is that the monster flew blue blood? No, that was, you're talking about oh, Live, Die, Repeat. It was like two people in the whole movie, and it was just mm -hmm. a white background. Yeah. I could not stay awake through that movie to save my life. That's what I've been saying. EC says the Navigator from Flight of the Navigator. That's my yeah. Favorite. Mark Cramphorn. Cramphorn, have you watched the new Top Gun Maverick? Allison has. I haven't. There's some really cool airplane scenes. Yeah, the F-18s. I couldn't tell you what they were. No, there was some more kinds too. Okay. And I won't give it away by telling you why. Do they, um, do they fight Russians? I'm not telling. Oh. Actually, I will say. They do fight people, but I think they were very careful not to make it a specific someone. So oh. that the movie would appeal worldwide. Okay. Yeah. Got to be able smart. to sell it to well, no, people in Russia. Well, no, I think they don't want to... Like offend? Yeah, like make anything worse. Right. That's smart. Yeah. Um, that ship from Oblivion was designed by Daniel Simon. Daniel Simon, yes. And by the way, I was at Comic-Con one time, and he was walking past me, and I was like, Daniel Simon, and he stopped. And I said, I absolutely love your work. I just saw Oblivion. It was like not long after Oblivion came out. I thought that was just brilliant work. Shook his hand. He, I think, loved being spotted. <laughs> he was just walking down the aisle. He wasn't like showcasing or anything. Um, so that was cool. He was a nice guy. Nice Unlike guy. that time. Who was the guy in Manhattan that you almost bowled over? Um, David? Uh, David McCullough. Yes. Who, who wrote... <laughs> Dick scared the heck out of him by running down the yeah, sidewalk Yeah, he's an author. Him. Hey! Alright, did anybody else back the Kickstarter? Are you guys going to make me sad or make me happy? <laughs> um, your happiness did not depend on... I know, I know, I know. Okay, let's hit refresh. Um, Oblivion, Edge of Tomorrow had fun ships. We need 701. Apparently the ship from Oblivion is called a bubble ship. A bubble ship. Let me look at my, my movies Thank here. you said Marvel movies have the most boring spaceships probably because they're almost always in shadow. And because Jake says I'm scared to design. You know what spaceship was really cool, though, um, was the Quinn ship from from uh, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Kind of looks like an eagle a little bit. And then the Nova Corps ships are amazing, too. And what do we got? We got... Whoop, whoop, whoops of fish. WCP <laughs> no, fish. No, I like whoops of fish. Whoops of fish. Literally backing right now. Whoops of fish. I'm Sticker level. Here. Sticker level. Right on. I'm going to hit refresh here. We're going to see if that came through. Hasn't come through yet. I know you got to put in credit card information. That's fine. But, um, okay, should we add a little color to this now? Yes, especially since you have your fingerprints all over it. Okay. Got to get the markers out. I just started organizing my markers so that I could easily... Um, they were all over, scattered all over the place. And I don't know if you know about Copics, but... We're going to have a little lesson here. So V, the letter, stands for the color group that it is. So this is violet. 
and like BV is blue violet, right? So that makes that makes sense. And then you have a zero, or you have a, a first number and a second number. The first number is um, intensity. I mean, not intensity. What it is is saturation. saturation. Okay. So um, usually the zeros are the most saturated, and the you know the farther you get up, like the I'll just show you this. This is important, guys. Okay, so look here, the blues. So we've got blue. The zero is super saturated. The nine, you could see how unsaturated that is. All right, and then the four, the next letter is how um, bright or dark the um, or the value of the of the color. So four is obvi obviously going to be lighter. It starts very light and goes to dark, and nine is the darkest. So that's how Copics work. So that when you're um, when you're coloring, all right, we got we got Sorry, three new backers. Back. Sweet, guys, it's amazing. Thank, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, somebody unbacked. <laughs> okay, so you could see here um, we're starting with zero one, very light. Four is a little bit more darker. Five is yet yeah, even darker, and then six is is darkest look at this and then here's 09 look how much darker that is so let's do we're gonna make a purple background here and let's what we'll do nine five and one somebody wants to know for our background um, do you i'm translating here do they can they only use copics to get the best result what are some other markers you would recommend that aren't as expensive as did you just get ink on your face? Probably. Um, these guys are really good. They're called style files. Those are pretty good. Prismacolor markers are pretty good. Um, you know, the, it really does, like, the, um, the more you spend on them, the lead, I'll say this, the less you spend, the less quality you get. You do get what you pay for in, in markers, but that doesn't mean you you get bad markers. Um, they just might not. They might be a little bit more streaky. So just keep that in mind. How do you get that Copic from not picking up all that black ink? Or does it just not do that? So this particular ink is, I believe, waterproof. I like the pink. We should. Allison, we got a bunch of like art supplies left over we from have so many art supplies. from sponsorships and stuff, and she's like, we should just do a giveaway for these, and I'm totally agree we should, but he's just too busy to do it. But then, like, and then people get mad if they don't get the given away too. So what we've been doing is we'll we donate them to high schools yeah. and junior high art. Donate them to schools. But when you do a sponsorship, when someone, you know, someone sponsors you, they'll send you more art supplies than you'll ever need. Which is lovely. Yeah. I think I hear all those dogs arriving. All right. Dog time. <laughs> Walter's going to be so stinking happy. I hope he doesn't overheat. Is it really hot out there right now? It's murderous. MF said schools is good, direct to the community. Sadly, there's no shipping to Brazil. Yeah, a lot of times that we've tried to send things to Brazil, they get returned to us. Yeah, so my last couple Kickstarters, I kept getting books lost in Brazil or returned. Like or half of them. Yeah, and so I just, I stopped shipping to Brazil because it was just like the biggest headache for me to try to sort out, you know. 
and and I could ship their UPS, but then we're charging like seventy dollars to ship a book. Yeah. We just need to take so, a box of books and go to Brazil. That's not a bad idea. I wouldn't mind visiting Brazil. Um, what are Time it with Carnival. No. I don't think you want to visit during Carnival. <laughs> um, favorite alien designs. Um, favorite alien designs. I always like Ri Yi's from from Return of the Jedi. He was the that one Star Wars character with three, with three eyes. Um, I like the alien from. Um, what's it called? Um, Clover Cloverfield. Yeah, the big one. But then also the other J.J. Abrams one was um, Nine Millimeter. Was it Nine Millimeter? I don't have that movie. Woodbook Fish says, a couple questions. What can you say to an artist who's having trouble making the leap to subjects they aren't very good at? I am a pro gallery artist, a professional gallery artist who does abstract in acrylic and watercolor pen and ink. Nature subject, but my anatomy remains weak. How to push through and tackle anatomy? Um, there's a really good book I recommend, actually, on that. Uh, it's too hard to describe. So you you do the markering, and I'll yeah. grab the book. They're doing a wonderful job there. I fixed it for you, honey. Thank you. Super Eight was the alien. I think I only Super ever stayed eight. awake through the first half of Super Eight. Super Eight, that's right. We've lost Jake into the depths of his bookshelf. I'm coming. You really would not have been able to describe where that is. Too. No, because there's, mul there's multiple ones. Book time. Okay, so... Is the ink dry? I think so. Okay. So this one's called Figure Drawing, Design, and Invention. Um... And what's great about this book is um, he breaks it down in this is this is good. So the basic shapes of what your um, of what the body is made up of. Because this is when I'm drawing a body, I'm not thinking of muscles. I'm thinking of these shapes first, and then I'm adding muscles to them. So he starts with the spine. You know, you could think like boxes, you could think like cylinders, or you could think like a little bit more detailed shapes. This stuff is really, really good. So who is this is by Michael Hampton. Okay. And then, but I want to I want to show specifics muscles back here. So, like I was learning the back. Um, oh, shoulders are good. Okay, so look how he, he explains shoulders. You know very basic shapes you know have it be like this boxy shape that cuts into the other ones um, so this is this is like the end all be all this is the one I recommend um, if you want to learn specific muffle muscles there's morpho which this um, this guy goes in I think is a French artist and they're just beautiful drawings but I mean like look at that like he's telling you this is that muscle. There's a key telling you what all the muscles are. So this is Morpho by my Michel Larchelle. La it's a French guy. <laughs> French guy. And then um, Force Drawing by Michael Matisse. Okay, so this one is more the same. Like he's he's showing how to draw um, certain shapes and then applying it to um, applying it to the muscles. It's good. I don't like it quite as much as as the other one. Um, he's got a full series of these. So force dynamic life drawing for animators, character design. It's a whole series. And then the classic one, this is what I learned back in the 90s, um, is Bridgman's Complete Guide to Life, Drawing from Life. 
and it's more of the same like here's some of the basic shapes and like here's how the neck works basically and then here's how you make it more complicated um, so this helped this is how I learned the neck muscles it's from this one so you, just like anything you're gonna you know this is the muscles this is where they attach to the to the bones so my advice to you is like pick a muscle group start with that learn all about arms and then once you've mastered arms do um legs you know do the other body parts oh i haven't been paying attention to the chat okay <coughs> excuse me <coughs> i have a couple of sta color markers is that good or bad um Fair to say, like Predator, the intergalactic cockroach from Men in Black. Edgar, who's wearing the Edgar suits? Uh -huh. <laughs> um, alien designs from District 9. Those are cool. Wolf of Fish likes all your suggestions. Perfect. Good job. Yeah. I'm going to totally ruin it, though, once I start coloring the spaceship. So after watching this, honey, do you think you can... Draw? Not at all. You can draw a little bit? Nope. But I can make you a pie. See, imagine if... Every day at seven o'clock, or I mean at five o'clock, you had to like draw something, and it had to be good enough that to support our family. To, yeah, and I feel like that's what you're doing when you make when like it's dinner time. <laughs> Lately, though, especially on Sundays, she's like, "I'm not doing this by myself. Everybody, get in here. We're making dinner together." Our kids to move out and not be able to see for themselves. Right. Um, so we, pre we appreciate that, and um, I uh, actually learned how to make rice because of that. So, so thank you. The closer I get to having adult children leave the house, I, the more panicked I get that I haven't taught them how to do enough things. That purple a little too much. Yeah. Okay, we'll just do it. We'll just Any do dabs it. of it here and yeah. there. Yeah, a few spots. Just to add to the Velocity says this pixelated effect is out of this world awesome. All right, I think I think that's good enough for that. Now let's color this. So we want to pick a color that is uh, complementary to. Um, complementary to purple so we could go yellow we could go green for the spaceship I, uh, I say green but don't go crazy because then it'll look like green goblin like can you just do green accents or something what would be cool is green with like white stripes yeah maybe or white with green stripes Jay says that's an awesome way to spend family time we do teams. Mm -hmm. We put a less experienced cook with a more experienced cook and put them in charge of one part of dinner, and then we usually have three teams going. Yeah. And so it'd be like, who's who's on your team? Who has to have, have dad on their team? <laughs> so you want a, a white stripe going right there? Mm-hmm. All right, let's start putting in some some color. Is that nerve-wracking that first time 
and putting the marker down that wondering if you've picked the right color or not. Yep. See, I don't, th- yeah, no, I don't I couldn't get it. You have no idea. [laughs] Rochelle's being silly. [laughs] Gray, green and gray with orange or brown rust. Gray with orange. Okay, so we're starting with you, Matthew. [noise] So, what I'm starting with here is just like my mid um green. [noise] [noise] Ah, not shades anymore. Um [noise] Yeah. [noise] Not guess. As far as I am concerned. [noise] Yeah, this is, this is exactly what I'm thinking. Yes, no, yeah, no, it's all the same. It's just different shades. It's the same though, I mean it's just different because the cards are different. Yeah, it's a little more complicated. Mm. Yeah. [noise] [noise] Totally. Okay. [noise] Mhm. Okay. [noise] Yeah. This one's gonna be fun except for the last one. [laughs] Aren't they? I saw them at the, at the art museum and then I liked them and then he bought them for my birthday. They're made really well, too. Mhm. It's very unusual for a baking kit. Yeah, I think it's like a tablet set or something. For the birthday of one of the friends? Very cool. Um, no, they were like birthday gifts from a friend. Very cool. That's really nice. Yeah. That one's a bit more mystical and mundane, I think. Yeah, it's quite a nice one. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. There's not a lot of them. Not too many. You'll have to wait. It's gonna be so expensive. I'm sure the paper towels are probably ready. I bought them from Crate and Barrel. This one? Yeah. Oh, they're good. I got them at, like, Urban Fare. I can see [inaudible 0:05:59.00] Why they make them this way. This looks like it's gonna be a calzone. Oh like you said [laughs] It does. It does look like a calzone, yes. Put those on after cheese. Mmm. Calzone. I tend to just put the cheese on last. Unless there's something I wanna be crispy. Well, I think it's the cheese. They just keep using up all your space. Well, I think it's the bacon chunks. Do you think we can fit that in the oven? Oh, I totally. Yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. I just need to get these two out of the way. Yeah. [noise] Hmm? It's over here. I'll let you sit down. [noise] Ah. So, should I get out the game? Yes, let's try the game. Uh, where did the game get put away? [noise] Top of the shelf, game shelf in the closet. Only you can get it. You're the only one tall enough. Well, clearly you must be able to get it cuz you put it in there. [laughs] Touche. [laughs] [noise] Your picture is falling out of its frame. It's not actually framed in there. It was just stored in there for the move. Oh. There's like a bunch of stuff that's inside of that frame just to keep it flat and protected while we moved in, so yeah, it has to get properly framed in there. Oh [laughs] Did you do the cat or did some- does it a print? I did that one. Yeah. It's it's actually a tracing of a photograph. Hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. That one took a long time, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a really long time. I took a long time for that. How long did it take you to make? Three days. Three days? Yeah. Demo. Yeah. Gosh, that means I can't travel with that thing. I'll have to bring my Tupperware. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because mine was a hundred and eleven. Yeah, that's not very nice. Yeah, hundred and eleven. That's [inaudible 0:13:26.46] Yep. [laughs] Well, you had to make do with what you had, right? Mhm. [noise] Yeah. [noise] I was just gonna fill up the fill up the jug after you did that and drink it, but [laughs] No, I I finished the bottle before you got there, so it was good. Thank you. I think the fish is cold. Mm. [noise] Mhm. [noise] Thank you. I just need to Last night I think we got this one. Wait. Oh, the bottle service? Yeah. It was really good. Mhm. So when you have a lot of liquid over there, you uh, you don't have a lot of choice but they do make a gelatin bag of sorts. Mm. Yeah. So you just mix it all together and you mix it really well because the sauce is delicious. Sauce is delicious. Make sure that you put a whole lotta olive oil over it and then uh, and then sear it. But all the while you're stirring the cream and stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. [noise] [noise] Mkay. Try using a knife. Here, I'll look at the, can you pass my phone Nikki? [inaudible 0:13:17.41] [noise] Twist. As much as you like but don't [laughs] Yeah. [laughs] Use the spoon and mix it up quickly. [noise] [noise] Yeah. [noise] Need a knife? Woohoo! Oh, good one! Cool. Was that your water glass on the dining table still? Thanks. This thing's so annoying. It just won't stay. It's [inaudible 0:13:25.84] Falling out like four, five times already. I think mine might be ready. I think I'll take one piece and cut it through. Ooh, that looks good. Is it? Um Nope, pretty raw inside. Still? Yeah [inaudible 0:13:35.55] Damn. Yeah, I dunno why the bone would increase the cooking time by so much. You can keep it on, do you think we should keep it on low and then just eat our appetizers? Yeah, we'll lower it and then we'll start eating You just have to watch it cuz it turns off really easily. I can do it. A little bit low is fine. Yeah, that's good. Just leave it. Do you have covers, maybe? What do you need? No, I don't think we need to cover it. Okay, yeah. I will leave it here. Okay. Is it done? No. Kenny's will probably take about another, I would say like Well, that one doesn't have a lot of fire cuz it's in the side there. It's like [inaudible 0:13:57.14] Yeah, yeah. Like all the flavor's in here. Oh, that's binding good. Do you think we should keep it closed? Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it close. Mkay. [noise] Yeah. [noise] Okay. Yeah, this part's really squishy. Oh, I guess not Oh. Interesting. [inaudible 0:14:32.76] Is there one more plate? Hmm. Um It's okay. I just won't use a plate. I'll just use this. Dish. Yeah, Mike? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Like, part of this steak is like, almost done. Mhm, but then it's squishy. And then part of it's not. Yeah, so But is it cuz that's fat area? That area could be fat. Is it fat? I think this could be a fatty piece. Yeah, it could be. So like I'm just worried, I'm just worried about it being overdone. Should we try some? Yeah. And then that part not being done. Ah. We can still eat it first, and then if it's not we can just put it back in. Mm, it's it's almost like I wanna cut this part out. K. Okay. We could. Shall we go to the other side yet? And then take take these sections out and then leave that one in
tired. <laughs> you guys know how to Google. I'm sorry. How to mark with these things. This is what happens to Jake late in the day. <coughs> so here's my grace. You've got warm, um, neutral. tonal, neutral, and cool. And neutral is a little cooler than tonal, and warm is is a little bit browner, right? So, um, so now we're gonna we're gonna use our cool. Wait, we've got. We're gonna use warm. We're gonna use tonal. That's what we're gonna do. Sorry. <laughs> what? No, nothing. Just making fun of you a little bit. Um, my T2 is out of out of ink. So we're not going to do T. We're going to do N. Okay. The art from this stream you are going to be putting on your Kickstarter mm -hmm. as an add-on. And not every day, but lots of days he will be putting add-ons in the morning. Yep. So check in the morning. Um, and it helps to have already backed if you want to get these because they go kind of fast. You back first and then you just go in and manage your pledge instead of having to like um, do all the, the stuff. All the stuff, yeah. So all these like metal components, I'm just going to make gray. And I'm starting with a light, uh, light gray. Oh, and you know what? We need to... Need to add a little green right there. All right, this spaceship's coming right along. The Girl Scout ship. The Girl Scout ship. Drawing with Satan. How's life been, Jake? It's been good. How you doing? Thanks for joining last time, too, Kaysom. What have you been doing for fun besides drawing? Um, I went camping uh, a couple weeks ago, or last, was it last week? Last week, with uh, our thirteen-year-old and a bunch of his friends and their dads. Yeah. So I do like, I help out with my like my church um, youth group. Youth group, and so a bunch of other dads and I got together and and took our took our kids camping, which is really fun. Like four days. Yeah, four-day camping trip up in Arizona. Northern, northern Arizona. So that was cool. This is how they sell Girl Scout cookies at the church. That's what the little door is for. There's a little hose right. thing that comes out of it that hooks up to another spaceship, and after they Venmo do, you shoot some cookies over to them. You got it. You See, nailed me it. Me and pizza sauce. We got this. You guys are so smart. been doing jake's been running yep i started running club with the kids so summer vacation here yeah oh this is getting super wet yeah you want a paper towel or something where's my my marker for some reason is like getting super wet drippy the flow's messed up yeah so f mondays and fridays i think we're doing running club five o'clock in the morning yeah, before it gets hot. Before it gets hotter. Hotter. Okay. Um, we might come back in and add some darker grays there in a minute, but for now we're going to go in and do darker greens. So we started with a G3, and now we're going up to G7. So do you keep your green out so you remember which one you use so you know mm -hmm. which darker colors to yeah. have? And this is where the magic starts happening, where it's like, oh, wow, it's it's actually dimensional. <laughs> Jake, would you be a cheetah or a gazelle if you're an animal? Jake actually does a fantastic impersonation of an orangutan. <laughs> yeah. He used to do it for our kids in the evening to get them to go to bed. He would do it like once every two months. Yeah. Sound effects, arms flailing, it's great. I am a, a cheetah in the body of a gazelle. 
I think the like so I've chosen a profession where there's a lot of competition and you have to you got to like focus and keep your eye on the prize and like and stay sharp or you will get eaten you don't get or you don't or you don't get um, fed so so running on your own is the opposite of that yeah So how do you make sure you don't overwork a piece? Overwork a few pieces. <laughs> <laughs> and then say, oh, I didn't like how I yeah. did that. Honestly, it's, it really is one of those things where you just got to, it, it's, it's experience. You just got to know like, oh, shoot, um, I took it too far. I wish I, I wish I had like better. burning a pie. Yeah, I wish I had better advice than that got to burn a few before you realize what kind of can actually take it out of the oven. You like how I keep turning these into cooking yeah. analogies? Well, you cook. Somebody's got to get me some lunch. You cook and I art. Did you not eat lunch? I didn't. Neither did I. <laughs> I'm hungry too. Now the key thing with doing um, adding the shadow here is is just remember like remember those boxes mm -hmm. um, that we were drawn. So oh, you have to remember where the light fit. Yeah, so you just got to know like my sides are going to be um, halfway to dark. The bottom's going to be dark and the top's going to be um, light. <laughs> It reminds me of Shaun of the Dead, one of the characters impersonates an orangutan named Clyde. Oh. That sounds about right to you. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to see where we can fit some, some Wait. what? If your light is hitting from the top, mm -hmm. do you also have a shadow right just on the edge of this? No. Like from this casting a shadow mm -hmm. on it? Yeah, but... No, okay. Scarlet Weber's got to go. Glad they dropped in. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. And I love that they just used the word skedaddle. You got a skedaddle? Mm -hmm. My dad says that. I say that too. <laughs> Come on, kids, let's skedaddle. Okay, so now we've got a light green... A mid green. Now we're going to add a dark green, and we're only going to use it on the bottom, this side, this side. Places you just drew with the middle green? No, no, no. Just, just wait. You like how I'm telling you how to draw? <laughs> You're like, but, <laughs> but Jake, no fun. So you see how, like, it's not on the front there. That's good. Okay, now we haven't colored the white yet. I thought you were going to leave it white. White has shadow too. So we're going to use a double zero blue for the white. Okay, I like that. I approve. <laughs> You're like, what are you, you doing? Screw it up. See now it looks like it's, it's a kind of optical illusion. Like you're, you're like blue. You're pretty good at this drawn thing. Um, and we can do. Steve just asked, wants to know, have you ever posted time lapses of you drawing stuff? Yeah, actually, I've, I've done a bunch of that for my Patreon. 
then you don't get to hear us talk about pie. Right. I like how it kind of drives it to space out and you really can't see what it looks like a shop. Yeah. Um, ah. Do I want to go that dark mm -mm. on the bottom? Don't do it, mm -mm. Jake. Don't well, no. do it. It's a bad idea. Okay, we won't. Okay, so now we're almost done. You think we're done, but we're not. So now we're going to do a couple of... It's a, it's a trick I learned um, back in the military. You've never been in the military. <laughs> so we got, got to add some uh, highlight to the window. Like white colored pencil? Yeah. Adam wants to know, can you glaze with the markers, like put the blue over the green to make the green shadow? Yeah, it works a little bit, but, but not... The two greens works better. Yeah. <laughs> Do it, Jake. <laughs> I forgot to add it here. There we go. And you can go in and just, in the little places there, just add a little, little bit of it. That helps give that some extra dimension. Is that the same color you just went over again? Yeah, I mean it. It does help to do a couple layers, but um, oh, I like that. Maybe he's been in the military in his imagination. Oh, you would not believe. <laughs> okay, so we've got the window. Oh, we need. Where the yellow ping pong balls shoot out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. So I did a 13, and now we're doing a 17. Yeah, we're just going to add a little yellow to there, too. Karina's new to the live. Hey, Karina. Hey, welcome. Yeah, if, if we have a few new people here, I just want to say that we're doing spaceships today. You're going to have to watch the whole thing to see this whole thing happen. But, well, um, because Mr. wants to know Naples yellow, lemon yellow. What these were were it was kind lemon of like yellow and golden yellow. Okay. Lemon yellow and golden yellow. Okay, we're not quite done yet. Now we get to add the little extra little details that I love, which is um, on the panels, you add just a little bit of white <laughs> and it, it makes them look like... Shiny? It just gives them a little extra dimension, not so much shiny, but see how it gives it a little extra... Uh, what is that, a white like ballpoint pen? Yeah, this is a um, jelly, jelly roll. And you can go in there and give a little highlight in spaces, places. Like, usually I like to put a highlight right on the edge. Okay, this side. I'm sorry, Lucian. I, I don't understand your question. Okay, we'll double this up. Two sides for when it comes out to see. What's the question? either who or how do you decide um, like art streams? How do you decide what to stream maybe? Oh yeah. Um, well, I'm doing spaceships today because I have a spaceship book that I'm kickstarting right now and um, to help like earn money for the, for the book and to feed my family, <laughs> um, we're, doing, we're doing original art sales every day of the, or a bunch of days of the Kickstarter. You have 705. Right on. Oh, yeah. yeah. How do you decide subject matter for the stream? So today's spaceships. Yeah. Thank you.
You know what we forgot to do a little bit of tonal on this. A piece of antenna. Yeah. There we go. All right. Nice Bob Rock. Last things bigger. last. We're gonna do. Um, we're gonna sign it. Um, I just saw another spot in this. Say will art for food. That's literally him every day. Will art for food. Anybody? <laughs> and Jake and I were gonna get married, and he was talking to my parents. I remember my dad said to him, "Can you actually support a family as an artist?" And Jake got really sweaty. He said, "Hi, I hope so." Yeah. I'm giving it my best shot. Go book a fish says this has been a master class. Thank you. That was so nice. Charles is waiting for number two at Redshift Renegades. After this book's done, I'll get I'll get cracking on that again. When are you, when are they gonna be able to buy the book? We're still working on that too. I just keep seeing more spots to add mm -hmm. a little bit of this. You need a good dent on the side where the spaceship pilot's kid parked their bike and it fell over and whacked it. <laughs> or the pa spaceship pilot's kid rode it to school. And smushed and into another spaceship pilot. Turned into the lane without looking in its blind spot. <laughs> Hypothetically. Hypothetically. No, it's I mean, not that that not happened that it, to our kid and yeah, our car. Yeah. Okay, now let's sign it. Call it done. Does that white like fade as nope. it dries? Stays nope. nice and opaque. Stays nice and opaque. Cracked windshield. Yeah, we got a cracked windshield out last week. This should have a cracked windshield. I know. That's bad in space. All right, everybody. I think we're gonna call it good for today. Thanks for joining us. This was a this was a good long stream. Sorry about the uh, microphone problem. We'll try and get that fixed for next time. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with it, but. Uh, Lotion, don't worry about your English. I appreciate you joining us and typing in. Yep. Thank you. And Thanks a for being patient with us. Big shout out to, oh, I'm up there. Big shout out to everybody who backed the Kickstarter um, during the stream. We're, oh, we're at even 3,600. So thank you guys for that. Um, spaceships, this artwork's 36,000. 36, yes, I know math. Very good. <laughs> This spaceship's going to be available for purchase on the Kickstarter on Monday, so come back and check that out. I have another one available that day. Um, so this one will be more expensive. This one will be less expensive, but this one will be, will be available that day too. I really like hanging out with all these people on a Saturday. These are all really yeah. nice people. Not one stinker in the bunch. This was good. All right, I'm going to end the stream, and we will... See you later. Um, thank you, Creative Faye. We'll check out that comic. Thank you, Adam, Josh, Pizza Sauce, Drawing with Kaysen. Thank you. When will we be able to buy the book? This, um, the the Renegades book. Check back. Check back later in the year. All right. Okay, everybody. Love you. Bye. <laughs>